Hey there magic one, just before we get into your tarot reading I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for July 18th to the 24th. Let's see what will be on the cards for you for the week. Got the nine card block here, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome oracles that lead tarot energy and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Pisces, you know, I, I think that um, there is something here, a goal that you've had. Um, it's on hold. You're waiting. There's been some stress associated with it. Maybe there's been some failed attempts. Um, you're being asked to really have faith this week. It feels like things can get moving again, that there is um, a new start here. So just keep believing in the dream, okay? We'll get to all of that. Um, I'll see how it unpacks. I never sort of look too deeply into it before I start. So the first um, card is change maker, make waves. It feels like things are going to get moving again, that there is going to be changes coming through after a period where maybe you couldn't make the changes that you wanted to. I've got light in the unexpected, okay? It feels like there's going to be a breakthrough or, you know, out of unexpected circumstances, it comes some kind of reward, some kind of new beginning. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius, okay? I think there has been a struggle. There could even have been a loss. As I, as I mentioned before, failed attempt was the wording that was coming through for me. Now, you're being asked to look at the bigger picture, that there is a divine plan unfolding, and there's a certain amount of this that Pisces is outside of your control, and you need to trust, okay? Knight of Swords is here. This is Gemini energy for me. Uh, other signs that I have here is Taurus with the Hierophant and Aries with the Fool. Um, the Knight of Swords is about progress. It's about moving quickly, moving ahead. So I think that things are about to get moving. The wheels have been spinning for a while, but you're about to propel forward and make some kind of quantum leap in progress on a goal that you uh, are trying to achieve. So the Fool is here. One of the biggest cards of new beginnings in the tarot. Um, the new beginning. Now, what is this about? I have very strong, um, I have very, very strong indications here around uh, some of you wanted to progress a relationship. Now, it might have been, even been the actual wedding or the actual engagement here with the Hierophant. But for some reason, maybe because of what we've been going through in the last few years, that's all been on hold or maybe financial means or something like that. Um, the other thing could be a relocation purchase of a home, moving home with the Four of Wands energy here. I'm feeling something very much in your personal realm, relating realm. And the other thing that's coming through for me 
is a conception or fertility journey, okay? So it feels like you've been trying to move ahead in one of those areas and you have had some, some misses, right? And things are about to get going again. So the full says a fresh new start is here. You know, trust in the process, trust in the journey. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, so the Four of Wands for me is I feel like you've been trying to create an even more stable, secure environment and maybe create a family. Now, the, these readings, like I read the reading, but you have to sort of tune into it for your situation and where you're at in your life. So if you're nearing retirement, this might be, you know, I'm, we're really wanting to create that family unit where kids can come back to, we can get some pets, you know, we can create that. If you're, um, if you haven't even had your children yet, you might be planning for that. You might be buying a home. So it's, it's whatever is relevant to you at your stage of life, but it feels like you're really trying to create that home base, right? And I feel, as I mentioned before, there has been with the Ten of Wands here, some kind of stress around that, some kind of holding pattern. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it'll be unique to you. But things are really getting moving again. Now, the Ace of Swords is here. And this is the energy of victory, especially sitting next to the Three of Cups. Um, it's the energy of vit victory and it's the energy of breakthrough. It could also be an inspiration to do things differently, a new idea or something like that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move around a little bit. I want to address the hanged man here. So the hanged man here is interesting because, you know, it comes before the death energy in the major arcana and it is the waiting. It is our hands are tied and it feels like you might have been waiting until you completed something. The Ten of Wands could be, well, we had to wait until you finished that really full-on work contract before we could move. Or, you know, we needed to uh, make, you know, there's been stress that's been impacting us creating this together. But it feels like that is just one step from being, you know, from being, um, from being resolved. And I was just thinking there that the Hanged Man comes after the Justice energy. So I think things had been out of balance. Things have been out of balance. You needed to make some changes, change make and make waves, some adjustments, okay? And maybe during that process, things were on hold, not moving. But now there's going to be light in the unexpected and things are going to get moving again. The Knight of Cups is here. This is generally your energy, Pisces, but it could also be somebody new coming into the mix, some kind of new offer or opportunity. That is the light and the unexpected. That is the very thing that you both needed in order to release yourself from the stress and get moving again. So, you know, that could be a range of different things. It could be, you know, a, a new offer of work that's going to take you out of the stressful work so you can concentrate on the family goal. Um, it could be some help, right? It could be some help or it could be that trusted person that gives you that new inspiration or new idea so that you can, you know, really create this fresh new start. So that's what I'm feeling around that. Alternatively, Pisces, it's really talking about the fact that I think the, um, the sticking point or the stress was with you, right? It's, it's aligned with your energy and it, it feels like things are, are, are moving again. And you've got to keep in mind to look at that bigger picture. So Four of Pentacles, Hierophant, Eight of Swords. The Hierophant is one of the biggest cards of have faith. Don't lose sight in the goal. Have faith and don't get into the mental overwhelm here, Eight of Swords. Otherwise, you're getting back into that stuck energy again. The Hierophant is also about traditional settings, okay? We're looking at marriage engagement. We're looking at maybe um, traditional work setting. There's something around that, or it could be that this is a traditional goal that you have, buying that home, you know, setting up that security for the future. That's how it feels because the Four of Pentacles is here and that's about foundations, right? have setting down that firm foundation in order to build this goal but we need to keep out of that fear energy of this is not happening and you know now I'm, I might be concerned about money or, or different elements like that um it feels like you can, if you move into that energy of possibility then a new direction is going to open up here 
So we're gonna get another couple for the outcome. Four of Swords, yeah, for some reason, like there is a lot of energy of on pause at the moment. Do you know what else is coming through now? One of you might have had a health challenge, burnout, um, you know, the ten of the ten of wands can be uh, like chronic fatigue or, you know, stress or, you know, physical burnout. Um, the Four of Swords is an energy of recovery. So there could have been a pause on a personal goal, whether it's to build family, to have a wedding or something like that because of that. Now, it feels like you are in recovery and you're going to, or you're going to get the breakthrough that you need for that. Try and stay out of the fear, right? Four of Pentacles, that, 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 that is your lot. It feels like things are going to move again. Just have to have faith. Five of Wands, yeah, and that's really put you in this energy of, you know, feeling conflicted or challenges. You know what, the, the Five of Wands for me as a reader is often an energy of, um, like, leaky boundaries or, or energy and really needing to address those leaks. So be really mindful of everything that you're giving energy to and bring it back to yourself. You're needing to focus on yourself, your health, your home, this goal. And you may need to say no to others so that you can say yes to yourself. Nine of Pentacles. That's going to be the thing that gets you back on your game. The Nine of Pentacles Pisces is somebody who is achieving and has been successful in this job. And it is the energy of health and wellness, um, you know, confidence wise, uh, you know, internally, physically and all of that. So, yeah, it feels like somebody is really going through a personal challenge here. Ah, oh, I've just pulled two cards, I'll honour that. I've got the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. You will get the victory, which is this emotional new beginning around family, love, commitment, conception. There will be victory over that, but you need to deal with whatever this energy drain is, this big stress, this ten of wands, this weight or burden that you've been um, carrying, because that is putting this goal on hold. There needs to be recovery from that. Um, there might need to be knight of wands, a new solution or someone else that comes into the mix, and that will be your breakthrough here, and that will help you get on the road to making this happen. And that will be, there might be somebody coming in that is the light and the unexpected. Have faith and be open to some kind of fresh new start here. That's what I have for you, Pisces. Interesting little reading. I really hope that. Um, it resonated for those it's meant for. Keep in mind, as a general reading, Can't Warrant isn't meant to resonate with everybody every time. Uh, drop me a comment if you're called to share. I love interacting with you all over there. Please hit subscribe. Biggest way to support the channel. And that is the energy exchange between us, I see, for the readings. I'm wishing you all the best with the situation and your week ahead. Do take care, Pisces. Bye for now.